What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitchy Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Join Ninja Nation, the best baseball community on YouTube. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Jose Barrios, who had these wicked two-seamers on his way to four strikeouts in six and a third innings. He was up against Cooper Criswell, who had four Ks in three and a third innings, thanks to these sliders, including this helicopter sword he got on Vlad Jr. Get to the chopper! Talk about exit velo. Braxton Garrett had this mix of fastballs and sliders and had four strikeouts in four and two-thirds innings. John Gray had five Ks in three and two-thirds innings, giving up no runs and only two hits, and had these fastballs and sliders. He had an amazing... 39 of 45 pitches for strikes, which is an 87% strike percentage. Reed Detmers got this sword on an 89 mile an hour slider and had three Ks in five innings. Tyler Anderson had this nasty changeup. He had only two Ks, but threw seven scoreless innings and is now 15 and three with a 2.62 ERA. Javier Assad had six Ks in six innings, letting up only one run, thanks mainly to his changeups. Ryan Nelson had six Ks in six innings, thanks to these fastballs and his funky motion. He has a zero ERA. Yep, he started his career now with 13 scoreless innings. And I think a lot of it has to do with the deception caused by his funky windup. Trevor Rogers went six and a third innings with nine Ks. Nice. And only gave up two runs. He had his combination of fastballs, changeups, and sliders all working. And here's a fastball and slider overlay, and you can see how those two pitches work together. Pitcher's ballpark to me. Yeah. Pitching ninja, they would call that a sword, because it looked like Huff kind of wielding a sword, much less than a, a, a bat in the way that he swung. Alex Cobb had a dominant 7Ks and 7 scoreless innings and had these wicked splitters, including this sword on Acuna. And he also had this pretty front door two-seamer. Well, it may be knocking on the front door, but it's close. He was up against Spencer Strider, who again was electric with nine strikeouts in five innings and showcased his upper 90s fastball and slider. That slider was absolutely wicked. Here's an overlay of his fastball and slider. You can see how well those two pitches track to the plate. And when your fastball's in the upper 90s touching 100, you gotta make a decision real fast and you're gonna swing and miss at that slider. What I really love are these home plate views of Strider's pitches. Here's a home plate view of his fastball and slider, and then I'm going to overlay them so you can see what hitters have to deal with. Hitting is really hard, and I think these home plate views really bring home how tough it is. Strider's ERA this year is now 2.72, and he averages an amazing 13.8 Ks per nine innings. Clearly one of the most dominant pitchers in the major leagues. But the most dominant outing from a starter last night was from Fromber Valdez. Valdez threw a shutout with eight strikeouts. And those strikeouts were due mostly to his wicked curveball. He got nine whiffs on his curveball and now has a whiff rate on the season of 44.6%. And opponents are only hitting 145 against that curveball. He absolutely dismantled Javier Baez with these curveballs in one of the most ridiculous at-bats of the season. Javi takes these two G-hacks on curveballs and then decides to go down looking on a curveball right down the dick. Proving true the old adage, if at first and second you don't succeed, stop hacking and take a curveball down the dick. Okay, maybe no one's ever said that, but I just did. Here's an overlay of Valdez's fastball and curveball, and you can see how filthy that curveball is when paired with his fastball. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Jason Adam blew a save, but did have this White Castle special. Ryan Tapera had this wicked slider. Jose LeClerc had this slider and changeup for Ks. Dylan Lee had four Ks in two perfect innings, thanks to his fastball and these sliders. A.J. Minter had this sick cutter. Jordan Romano had these filthy sliders. Trevor Steffen had these dirty splitters. And my filthiest reliever from yesterday was a manual Class A with these flaming 100 mile an hour cutters. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. Here's a beautiful moment between two teammates, Jose Ramirez and Emmanuel Class A. Sharing is caring. 
What is up, Ninja Nation? My picks of the day today are a three-leg parlay. I'm going to go with Garrett Cole for 7Ks or more, you Darvish for 7Ks or more, and Kyle Wright for 6Ks or more. And today is Bet with Pitching Ninja Day on the FanDuel app, so you can take that parlay with one click of the button. What would your picks of the day be?